And so if we circle back to the uh, perpetual to subscription model, um, effective immediately, VMware is no longer offering uh, perpetual licenses to their customers, as well as they're no longer offering their customers to renew support on those perpetual licenses. And so the challenge that organizations are now facing is whether they can operate with their existing perpetual licenses without receiving the support, or is that support business critical? And if so, likely that that change to a uh, the subscription model and, and getting that support would be required. One piece of information that might be helpful as you're making that decision is an announcement that Broadcom CEO made last week. He did announce that Broadcom will be offering free uh, zero day security patches for some perpetual licenses. And so while that's certainly great news for Broadcom's customer base, we do want to caution that it's not necessarily the silver bullet that it might initially seem. Um, it does only apply to supported versions of vSphere licenses. And so ultimately that could limit an organization's ability to remain on just the perpetual licenses. Uh, Broadcom did announce that they will eventually roll it out to some additional products, but uh, they didn't mention which products that might be, nor did they give a timeline for that. So um, that is one thing to, uh, to keep in mind. Um, if we do look to the best practice here, um, ultimately it's important to really understand and know where you stand with your, your license compliance. And uh, these best practices that we have, um, if they're utilized, we think can really help you as you make that decision. And so we recommend that you do complete periodic effective license positions that will help you understand your organization's compliance status going into uh, upcoming renewals as well as we recommend that you implement a robust demand planning process that will pave the way for your optimization roadmap. And the reason that this is, um, that, that demand planning is so impactful is if you know that your investment in VMware is only increasing, uh, then it's very likely that the support will be required. And so going to the subscription licenses and getting that support uh, will, will be very helpful for you. Whereas on the flip side, if you know that your demand is decreasing and, and maybe you even have plans to sunset your, your VMware environment, at that point, it, it is possible that uh, sticking with the perpetual licenses until you decommission the environment uh, would, would give you enough um, that you need. 